Keeping it on the outside, a little wobbly. Jerry's hand, left hand is so low that Bradley just, you can just feel him zeroing in with that right hand again. Final seconds of the eighth round in which Edna Cherry went down off a big right hand by Timothy Bradley. You weren't hurt. You weren't hurt, right? Shake it off, baby. Shake it off. Andy, you know why he did that? You know why? You know why? Because you're throwing one shot at a time. Here's where Bradley was able to get over the low left hand of Edward Cherry and land his signature punch, which is the right hand. He's got great power in it. Now that, there's the jab, and it was a lazy jab. Why? Because he brought it back and then put it down. And we talked about that in the keys to victory before this match. And again, we take a look at how that right hand was able to get in with the left hand languishing low and a terrific straight right hand. Give Edgar Cherry uh, credit for getting through that round, because you pointed out, Steve, over a minute left when he was hurt. Cherry had told Pete Fernandez he wasn't hurt, but that was a right hand bomb flush on the front of Cherry's face. Another right hand, Bradley, as we begin the ninth. You do that again, I'm taking corner right now. Ritter getting on Bradley. Gary Ritter has done a good job of, of making sure to keep control in this match. Edward Cherry's now at a critical point in this match. He's got to make something happen to give himself even a remote opportunity at winning this fight. Cherry, a three and a half to one underdog coming into this fight against the WBC super lightweight champion, Timothy Bradley. You know, Bradley said, and it's true, Edward Cherry doesn't fight as well okay, going backwards. It's back, not his fighters. strong step suit back. at all. And now, because of being hurt, Cherry is for the most part going backwards. Well, he had Witter down with an overhand right in the sixth, which turned that fight around because it had been close up to that point. This, of course, a different story. Bradley uh, pretty much dominating throughout, but he does put uh, Cherry down with more of a straight right in round eight. Tim Bradley's a very solid fighter who I suspect we're going to find out as he goes on has a really good chin as well. Now, granted, you might say, well, don't you know, has Cherry already hit him with these punches? Yeah, but Edgar Cherry's coming up for the lightweight division. And, you know, you can't tell. When he faces a junior welterweight, the punch is really hard. And as a 240-pounder, we'll probably know better. But Tim Bradley doesn't even hit that much to begin with. Well, Bradley uh, told us he wants the winner of Hatton versus Malinaji. I'd love to see Timothy Bradley in against a guy like Ricky Hatton. Stylistically, that's a wonderful matchup. That, that's the fight Junior Witter wanted until he was derailed by, by this man, Tim Bradley. And, of course, Malinaji, the master boxer, so no, Bradley no. would have an intriguing matchup with him as well. Edna Cherry through the ropes right above us. It is getting rough. Cherry worried about being too aggressive stop, now because stop. he's felt the power of Bradley as well. You okay? You okay? The heads come together again. You see Cherry wiping off the brow. Cherry being extremely cautious now. I mean, he is so far outside that there's no way he can even land. Off his hand, off his hand, lay off his kidneys. But kind of a look of befuddlement on the face of Cherry. This fight, this fight slipped away from him, no, no, starting no, no, in the no. fifth round, really slipped away from him. But, 10 seconds. Timothy Bradley's defensive ability. There's a right that misses by Cherry. Another right that misses by Cherry. And another. And he keeps missing with that punch. The last one grazed, but that shows you the ability of Bradley to slip those punches. So what he's doing 
behind. He's on the he's on the defensive side. Okay? okay. You're gonna have to fake him out a little bit more. Okay. okay. Fake him and then pop. Okay. Let's go. I need to stay smart. Timothy Brown, baby, you're in that tenth round. Stay smart. Championship round, baby. Stay smart. Timothy Bradley, 22 and 0, with 11 knockouts after Cherry. 24, 5 and 2 with 12 knockouts, but Cherry seeing his first opportunity to capture a world title slipping away. And he may never get another opportunity again. Well, you know, the place where he may is in the lightweight division if he can put some wins together. But yeah, this is an opportunity that when you have it, you've got to make the most of it, that's for sure. Timothy Bradley who went two years to Northern Michigan where he was studying to be a surgical technician came back home for the 2004 Olympics but lost in the box offs and at Northern Michigan was so part of the great back, boxing program they have there Al Mitchell who was a, an Olympic coach uh, oversaw that program and uh, many many great amateur boxers have been in that program for the United States. If you're just uh, tuning in, want to remind you that uh, unfortunately, because of weight issues regarding uh, Joan Guzman, we are not going to have the featured uh, fight, the scheduled featured fight between Nate Campbell and Joan Guzman for the WBA, WBO, and IBF lightweight championship. Stop. Step back. Guzman uh, reported overweight. Had a couple of hours to come back and try to rectify the situation, but did not return to the scales. And uh, a little bit before we went on the air today, uh, he he just refused to fight. Uh, his his health was he was just in bad shape. He was dehydrated, had all kinds of uh, problems. And uh, if he had gotten into the ring, his his health and well-being would have been uh, threatened. So that went by the boards and uh, they moved Bradley versus Cherry up uh, as the main event here. And uh, even though it's a, a one sided fight for uh, Bradley, it's uh, once again one of those one sided fights that's, uh, you know, got some uh, some entertainment value. Yeah, Edgar, especially early on, Edgar Cherry was able to, uh, to have some very good even exchanges with him since that fifth round, unfortunately for Cherry, Bradley is taking control of this match. Yeah, entertaining because Bradley uh, Bradley has some game. Yeah, and, it, and, and Steve, it's entertaining Ooh. because we're watching the emergence of what might be one of boxing's future stars in Tim Bradley. He's a 25-year-old who is coming into his own, just won the championship, and is having himself a very good first defense of that title. Bradley unleashing shot after shot, punching with volume, while Cherry is just doing one punch at a time, for the most part. And that was one of the gripes in his corner earlier. You got to put your punches together more. As we head for the bell round 10. Okay, box the shit out of him. But dude, you can finish this fight if you catch him with a clean right hand, dude. Okay, but you know what? Okay, I know he is. But you get, that's why that's why you gotta work the body first. Every jab you throw into the body, baby, is, is working real nice. And he don't like those body shots. Okay? I want you to keep doing that. I want you to keep doing that. When I tell you, jab to the body, right to the head, don't throw the jab. Just go with the, to the head with the body, with the, with the right over, okay? okay? I'm gonna go jab, jab to the head, right to the body. So what your hands go. I mean, you've been in tougher fights with than this guy. This guy ain't nothing compared to some of the guys you fought. I mean, I've asked you to go to the body. I've asked you to go to the body. I've asked you for the last 10 rounds. I've asked you to go to the body. And you're not going to the body. I think it's just become a case now for Cherry where the proverbial spirit is willing, but the flesh is just not. Yeah, I agree. And I think some of that body work Bradley did early has slowed him down. You know, Cherry is two and two in 12 round fights and Bradley one and oh, the fight Frank, in which he Frank, beat stop, Junior he Winter. Stop. Stop. Back. And he looked very stop. fresh late in that fight against Winter yep, to fight. take the title from a guy who'd been in five world title fights. That's pretty impressive. It, it's hard to over uh, stop. Uh, Frank, estimate back, how what a terrific performance Tim Bradley had against Junior Witter in a very hostile environment in the first major test he'd really had, and he performed very well. First world title fight 